everybody and welcome back to this channel. Today I am doing my weekly grocery haul for you all. Today I decided to go to the spud shed and go buy all my groceries there. There's probably a few things that I need to go back to Coles to get but I will get them like later in the week because I don't really need them right now. If you've seen a grocery haul from me you know how this works out so I'm just going to get straight into it. So I'm going to start off with the worst item so it gets out of the way and I don't have to feel bad about getting it but I got some Fruit Loops again guys. I only get Fruit Loops when I'm home alone because I know they're really bad for me and I know Jason will be like, Amy you shouldn't really get Fruit Loops but I really wanted them so I'm going to divide these up so I can portion them out right and I don't overeat Fruit Loops because I think it's easily done. In my next bag I have some barbecue sauce and I also have some tomato sauce because we were both running out on them. I got a big tin of tuna. This is in spring water because I don't get anything else but in spring water. Um, I am going to be doing like a tuna mornay with this so that is why I got that. So I just got two little bags of peas and corn because we do have two bags already in the freezer but i just thought i would just get some for backup next i'm going to show you some fresh fruit and vegetables that we picked up we picked up so many today guys like i've never picked up this many but i decided to pick up a lot of more fresh stuff than like frozen stuff the first thing i've got in this bag here is brussels sprouts now obviously everyone isn't a fan of brussels sprouts but I am. I absolutely love these little guys. They are so good when they're baked or fried. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put these in some of our dinners this week. Also got a red capsicum because you can never go wrong with a capsicum. Asparagus. These are tiny little baby asparagus. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. That was so thin. So I had to get two bunches because I probably will have like one bunch in one serving. Because normally I have like five little stems and they're normally like really thick but these ones are like super tiny so so i have three zucchinis because i've decided i'm going to make a stuffed zucchini like zucchinis for dinner so that's why i got three of them also got some bananas because we always have bananas in, in this household so i got seven i'm pretty sure no, I got eight. I got eight bananas to last us a fortnight. While I'm talking about fresh fruit and vegetable, I'm just going to go through all the other ones that I did buy today. So I got some pink lady apples because we enjoy snacking on them. And we got a couple like sweet potatoes. We also got a punnet of strawberries and Frederick unfortunately has already eaten about four of them. Got a fresh cauliflower. I also got two fresh broccoli. I realized how many fruit and vegetables I actually got until now guys. There is a lot here which is actually really good because I know I need to eat more vegetables so it's really good that I bought more this time. I also got a little punnet if this is a punnet of mushrooms. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms but I'm trying to get more into it and just like hiding it even though I'm I know it's in my food but hiding it in food got a little punnet of uh, cherry tomatoes which I don't normally eat tomatoes or cherry tomatoes but I'm just gonna hide them in my food like I just said with the mushrooms four con in the cobs that I'm actually going to half so there's eight there so starting off with like everything else I got some wholemeal bread I always get wholemeal bread it's the best bread you can ever eat but some gluten-free pasta I really like this pasta it's not that bad on my stomach um, so yeah, I decided to get this because it was like $2. Some roasted peanuts. Frederick absolutely loves nuts. His favourites, I definitely think, are peanuts. So we just decided to get a whole bag of nuts because this bag is only like $2.70 at Spud Shed. So it's amazing priced. So I thought we'll just get some nuts and then we can just snack on them um, throughout our day. So I got some fantastic um, rice crackers. It's just in the cheese flavor. I literally think we have tried every single flavor of this brand. And I still can't figure out which ones are my favorite. Some water crackers. I was meant to get cheese so I could have cheese and apple with crackers. But we'll just do apple and crackers. If anyone has not tried cheese apple with a cracker, mm, it's so good. Um, so we're just going to have crackers for like a snack. One of these little guys, these are just like the, you know, easy make dish. Um, so I got a tuna mornay one so we can make it for the week. I 
last but not least in this bag i've got some grain wave chips these are the sweet chili chips i've actually never tried grain waves but i've heard amazing things about them and i know they're better for me than like a regular chip so i decided to just give them a go and see how they are so i am going to portion these up into like portions and hopefully they last like a good week or fortnight hopefully a fortnight more than a week i also have a little portion of pretzels here frederick loves pretzels and so does his mummy um so we just went and bought a little bit of pretzels so non-meat eaters look away now <laughs> Um, I got some barramundi fillets. These are obviously frozen. So I got one, two, three, four, five, five barramundi fillets. So this will obviously last us a while. So I got the barramundi fillets, which I will cook up today. And our last meats I got was, I got some lamb mints. Normally don't get lamb mints, but I thought I would give it a go. So we got some lamb mints. And I also just got my regular like value pack of beef mints. Anyway, that is everything that we bought today. Obviously, there was a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables, guys, compared to our normal hauls. But I actually enjoyed like buying a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables. And the best thing about this, guys, it was all under a hundred dollars. I'm not kidding you. I was just like, this is not going to be under a hundred dollars. It's going to be way over. If I shopped anywhere else. If I went to Coles or Woolworths, it would be over 140 bucks for all of this. Just because fresh fruit and vegetables cost a fortune. But not its budget, it is amazing. So today, our price for all of this was $94.16. I just said dollars really funny. $94.16 amazing guys. And how many items did I buy? 35 items 35 items last grocery haul i bought 36 items and it cost me 129 dollars or something like that i can't remember exactly but i bought one less item and it cost me like 40 dollars less than last week what probably also didn't help that there was an extra person eating in our household but still how crazy is that also guys if you're interested tomorrow's video will be me showing you guys how i cook all our meals for this week Make sure you come back tomorrow to find out how i spread all this food out for one week but anyway i'm going to get going so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all tomorrow bye